Are chiropractors doctors? And what's the difference between a chiropractic doctor and a medical doctor? Well, it can be very confusing for the public, so I'll say this. Uh, we are primary contact practitioners, which means we are appropriately qualified, trained and regulated that if somebody comes to see us, it's not referred, they just come to see us from scratch, we are able to find out what's wrong with them, diagnose them and either treat them appropriately or send them on to someone else if we can't treat that condition. In other words, we can diagnose and that's the key difference. Doctors are people who diagnose conditions and then do something about it. Um, we are trained for four to five years for to education in um, anatomy, physiology, pathology and so on. So we do know all that stuff and we are able to find out what's wrong with you. That's the key difference. So uh, I don't care if people call me Dr, Mr, Terry or anything else, but I care about getting you well. If you go to see a chiropractor, you're seeing a fully trained, qualified person who is registered by the British government and you'll be in very, very safe hands. Becoming a chiropractor requires a five-year full-time university education. This curriculum emphasizes anatomy, physiology, radiology, and includes thousands of classroom hours in the biological sciences. Upon graduation, they have become experts in spinal adjusting techniques, diagnostic imaging, nutrition, and other aspects of holistic health care. Chiropractors are well educated and uniquely trained in the detection, reduction and prevention of the vertebral subluxation complex. Then each year, like other doctors, your chiropractor takes postgraduate courses, attends seminars and reads journals to stay current on the latest scientific data. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or you're experiencing persistent pain, then please contact us by calling 020 8508 9377. Remember, we're here to help. I'm Samantha. Until next time, thanks for listening.